Yes, I think what we're, what we're, what we're talking about is that there's, um, there's kind of five themes or ideas, but the, the sort of starting point for it is to say that, to be honest, if as a business you haven't got the idea that you need to digitise now, to be honest, you're never going to get it. No. So it's, it's like, you know, as a, as a digital marketer, as a, as a digital professional, as a marketing person, now is your opportunity and, and, and you should be able to get done. I mean, that's, that's, that's the first thing. But out of that, and this is the kind of thing the first theme is, out of that there's a kind of massive fatigue setting in. So it's great that you can realise these opportunities that you've maybe not been able to do before. So people have, have you know, everybody's sitting on Zoom or, or Google Meets or, or, or whatever it is, day in, day out, everybody's consuming information through video, everybody's reading stuff because they've had more research time. But what that leads to is that people have been looking at screens round the clock. In many cases, they're not going out there, they're not going elsewhere, and that's just literally fatigue with the concept of the screen. And that means that that, that presents its own challenges. Yeah. So I think that's the kind of that's that's the kind of first thing. I think one of the other things that's that's really coming out of all this um, is that is that online events. I mean, the, the absolute death of, of, of physical events for obvious reasons. Um, and I think that was always, physical events always had some attractions, but some negatives. So the attractions were clearly about being able to meet your peers, discuss things, interact and so on. The disadvantage was getting in a car and driving to the NEC, which nobody in their right mind would ever want to do. Yeah. Um, and and, and as, 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 as we literally haven't been able to do it, then there's been replacement online events. I think a lot more companies are going to be using online events, but there's, there's challenges around that too, because potentially an online event is quite a passive. So I think there's, 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 there's stuff around that. Um, I think the third thing is um, increasingly companies in the B2B space um, who have taken steps already in terms of digitising their marketing um, and their, their customer awareness and their uh, customer attract and getting people to their website. Those companies are beginning to understand and increasingly focus on the idea that if you've digitised being found by people in the first place. If you've digitised your lead generation, if what then happens after that is not digital and it's not digitised, you've got a you've got a gap in the experience yeah, there. And so I think there'll be an, uh, increasing companies, increasingly companies will be looking at how to digitise the whole um, the whole experience yeah. from uh, from the initial awareness through the consideration decision and, uh, and through to engagement with that company. Yeah. Um, the fourth thing. Um, I, I think, which is a, again, this, this is not a, it's not a new idea, yeah. but I think it's something that's going to become a, um, increasingly important this year. Is that uh, companies that have um, been doing inbound marketing over the last uh, two, three, four years, yeah. and even more? Um, I think what most people come to realise after after a period of time is that great content is brilliant. Great content is really, really important. But in this world of, of increasing competition for readers of the or readership of that content. Then, um, then, then focus on how you're going to create an audience for that content yeah. is going to become increasingly important. Like most of the people that, that we talk to yeah. have certainly had that challenge. Of they've, they've done the bit, they've read the book, they followed the process, they've got the content, they're not necessarily getting the ROI, and very often that's because they've fallen the first hurdle. They, they're just not getting the, yeah. getting the readership for that. Uh, and I think lastly, um, a, a really big thing which is going to become increasingly important to marketers is, is the whole data management and integration piece is that the, one of the big challenges of inbound historically um, uh, has been that you, you create opportunities and there's a gap between the creation of that opportunity and what happens when it goes into sales and there's a disjoint and people talk about sales and marketing line and all of that but really at the basis of it I think there are a lot of companies that don't have a good CRM a CRM that actually works and serves their business and I think that um, focus on, on CRM is going to be a massive trend there.